Howdy folks, welcome back to the Command Arc. Today is leg 46, Virginia, over 50 state series. We are wrapping this series up in the next couple flights. And I decided to take out their Basque Robin DR401 CDI 155 um, for this part of the series. We've flown this a few times, even did a cold and dark start video on this thing. This was the freeware thank you from Air Basque to the community. And we've flown it quite a bit at first, and it's been a long time. It's not that I forgot about it, it's just I haven't taken the time to learn the G1000s very, very well. But I'm not going to let that stop me today. We'll figure it out together. We'll struggle through it. We're going to put in our destination and try to get a GPS approach out of the G1000. If not, we'll just do a VFR flight with visual landing. But um, we are at Tanger Island Airport in Tanger, Virginia. Flying to Middle Pennsylvania. Middle, try that again. Middle Peninsula Regional Airport, West Point, Virginia. Yeah, it should be a pretty simple flight, 60 nautical miles, so it shouldn't take us too long to get there. And um, when I was looking back editing my previous videos, I realized I'm kind of hard to understand. My voice is kind of hoarse, and I've been muttering a little bit, and if you're wondering why, it's because I have some late seasonal allergies. We had our yard raked um, a couple days ago, and I think that stirred up some stuff. We have a very large yard. We live on a double lot. I don't rake myself because of my, you know, health issues or whatever, but we hired it out. And um, ever since then, my voice has just been strange and I haven't been noticing my words. So I apologize for the last three videos if I've been hard to understand. Um, those of you leaving comments about it, I've tried to reply as best as I can. Um, but my voice is probably still going to be kind of hoarse until it snows. It did snow today here in Minneapolis, but it didn't stick. So until it sticks and things freeze... My voice might be kind of shaky, but I just wanted to throw that in there because I've been responding to some comments and um, just want to tell everybody why I'm hard to understand. I really do apologize. So anyway, if you're new around here, this isn't my normal voice. Normally you could understand what I'm trying to say. But anyway, let's get this thing underway. It should be a short flight, short and simple. So first thing I'm going to do is hop inside and there's a canopy latch, but I think we have a preset for the canopy button. I thought we did. Maybe we just push it like that. There we go. Boom. Okay. Canopy is latched and those ambient sounds are quiet. Now, of course, sorry. Parking brake set. Um, I hear it. Must reset all this stuff too. Uh, I don't know where it is though, but it's there. Sorry if I'm shaky on this. I did not practice. Again, I don't practice my flights because my point of this channel is to, um, oh boy, how do you close this? Is to do things with you and learn with you and things. So that's why I don't practice, which means sometimes we struggle a little bit. I'm just looking for that parking brake because I'm really curious where it was. But anyway, we're going to move on. All right, parking brake is set battery. I do know where that is. Battery is over here. There we go. Alternator. Um, I gotta do that type of thing. Is this F2 alternators? No, that's that FADEC thing. You gonna close for me? Thank you. ELT on to test here. Where? Nope. Yeah, ELT on to test and then ARM. I really need to zoom in. I cannot see. Must be up here. There it is. That would make sense, right? Yes, ELT. Test it. And then on. All right. Strobe light. Strobe light. Flash. All right. Check fuel level. Oh, yeah. I should probably do that, huh? We're actually going to come up here and check it this way. Hour and a half, 49 minutes. Yeah. I sure hope we don't fly that long. I don't have that kind of time. Anyway, check fuel. Air. Alt air closed. Where are you? Oh, right there in front of us. Boom. Closed. There we go. Fuel switch on. That I saw a moment ago. Somewhere over here. No, I didn't. It's down here. Fuel switch on. Fuel pump on. Throttles to idle and they are. Master engine switch on. Uh, wait for preheat light to go out. And it's out. And start. And nothing's happening. Oh, we have to hold it. 
There we go. Alrighty, check RPM idle 890, and it is. Make sure Alt and FADEC lights are off. Uh, they are. Okay, there we go. Pytot heats. Where would you be? You were over here. Pytot heat. Fuel pump. Off. Alright. Avionics. Let's go over here. There we go. Fly pan in the GPS. Like, I really remember how to use this thing. Um, let's see if I can get a destination in here and I'll make a cut so you don't have to watch me struggle through this for half an hour. Right, we got the flight plan. We got the page menu. How do I... Oh, there we go. Delete flight plan. Enter. That's not so bad. Okay. I guess it's pretty much like other GPS. Now, how do I get the inner ring? There we go. Uh, destination is... Kilo Fox Rock Yankee Juliet. So there's Kilo. Hey, I'm getting the hang of this here. Juliet, my favorite word to say in the phonetic alphabet. There we go. So now, how do we load an approach? Load an approach. Procedure. There we go. Select approach. Yes. Enter, maybe. Um. I have real world weather turned on. I don't know what it is there. I don't think we can s get there yet. What is it for us? It's um 10 at 230 degrees. That's pretty gusty. So 230, so 23. Do you think it's going to be the same wind out here? Do we even have this yet? Oh, it is in here. Kilo Foxtrot, Yankee Juliet. Wind calm. We can choose anything. Nice, okay. So let's just choose something here. Let's just do, while well, we're coming from this direction, so closest runway would be 28. Let's do 28. We can fly straight in, shall we? Runway 28. Boom. Vectors. Oh, is it going to tell us as we select? Oh, darn. I was hoping it would. So there's the nav. Look at this. This is awesome. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. Let's use the nav because we can see it. So we'll fly right here. Let's fly straight in. Wow, I'm excited about this. We gotta do this more often, don't we? There we go. Fly course reversal. No. Minimums. Oh, I don't know. Let's load this thing. But I don't think that activates it. Then I think we can actually page over, can't we? I thought we could pan over somehow. So we can see it all. Oh, just did something. No, I don't want to zoom in. Oh, there we go. Let's load it now then. Procedure. No, 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 no. Let's activate approach. Let's wait till we're in the air. How do I get out of this? Oh, wait till we're in the air. Okay, so how do I zoom back, uh, zoom back in? There we go. Well, this is cool. I like this. I know we did this for, um, Mississippi Delta for Louisiana lake I think um, all right there we go so this tells us our approach you can see and everything that is so cool and that's our fix so we'll activate it and it'll turn this to here and away we go good all right I guess while we're at it what is our destination elevation 20 feet so we'll just say sea level we call it done okay so there you go there's our flight plan uh, how do we get out of I don't think this has autopilot actually See how do we get autopilot to follow it? I don't think it has it. Unless autopilot is part of the G1000. I don't think it is. I don't see anything on here. No, well, no, here's autopilot right here. Uh, okay, so how do I get this to... It says nav already? Automatically? How do I get nav to be GPS though and not the VORs and things? Hmm... That I don't know. I'm not sure how that's going to work. Anyway, moving along. Ooh, can we play music? Nope. Bummer. Because that'd be awesome. Alright, radios, no altimeter barometer for here, though. What's your altimeter barometer for here? Where are we? We're way up here. 2904, wind is 23 or 230, 10 degrees. So we're going to use runway 20, of course. 
which we're right at already anyway. So two, niner, niner, fork. I clicked on that. No, nope, that's not what I meant. Um, I was thinking it was the, whatchamacallit, barometer, the outside one. Oh, look at this. I'm learning something. That's awesome. Two, niner, niner, four. This is really exciting. Sync gyros. I don't think we need to in this one, but it will anyway. Taxi lights on. Now, some, okay, I had these taxi and landing. And somebody told me I had them backwards in the comments. And I apologize. That was so long ago. I don't remember which one was which. I just know I had them backwards. So I'm just going to guess this one is taxi. I don't know. I should label that on my checklist tonight. Nav comes on. Flaps down one notch. And begin taxi. So let's hop outside. And turn my sim volume down. No, I can't. So we're just going to go right out. So there, there's the start of the runway. So let's let go that parking brake. And away we go. And we're just gonna take a nice easy taxi. Alright, as we go out there, let's turn the landing lights on. And I don't know if we're supposed to turn taxi off or not. Again, I apologize. And I don't remember. It was a very long time ago. Let's see. Uh, before takeoff check, fade check. Yes, we'll do that in a second. Let's um Let's just pull out here. It's a quiet day. We're not getting anybody's way. So here we go. Stop like that. Set the parking brake. Um, fade deck check. That's this button here. There's a button for that, right? You push it. And then you let go. Okay. Landing lights on. I already did that. Fuel pump on. Trim set. I don't remember how the trim is or where it is. We'll just leave it the way it is. Oh, there's a parking brake. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. All right. Rotate. We can hear the pump. Isn't that awesome? You can hear the fuel pump going. Rotate at 61 knots. Okay. Here we go. Here he goes nothing. Throttles all the way forward. Try to keep that under control a little bit anyway. Strong wind from the right. Oh, yes. I feel it. And there is 61 knots. Let's give a little bit more because of crosswind. And up we go. Um, flaps coming in. Step on the brakes because it has fixed gear. But we want to stop the wheels from spinning. Alright, let's have a quick look outside. And then we'll fly this plane. Over to the right though, of course. Looking good. Who knew that Vermont had so much water like this in this part of it? Alright, so now... Let's come down here, and let's do this procedure. Activate approach. There we go. So now what do we do? I don't know how to get autopilot to follow the purple line. I guess we have to do it manually. The anyway, flaps are in. No gear to bring in. Do we have a cruise checklist? Yes, 85 to 100% throttle. Fuel pump off, landing, and taxi lights off. Fuel pump off. And those lights off. And then follow the purple line. Which we should be able to zoom in if I did this right. There we go. Good. So. What I would like to do. Man, this is going to take us almost an hour at this rate. We're only going 73 knots. Wow. It took a long time. Um, what I need to do is figure out how to get autopilot to follow the purple line. Because if we hit nav, I don't think that's going to follow... I don't think that's going to follow the purple line. Or is it? Um, let's see if it turns us back here. It might, I guess. Because normally if you hit nav, it's going to follow your radios unless you tell it to couple to the CDI. Hmm. Maybe it will. Let's see. Let's try this. No, see, we're not following the purple line. I didn't think that was going to work that way. Oh, wait. Wait. Maybe we are. I don't know. But anyway, you know what I'm saying, right? If you have VNAV on your GPS, it's not going to follow you. It's not going to follow GPS. So I don't know how to make this follow GPS unless we are now. I think we're just going to go in circles, to be honest. Look at this. Yeah. Let's disable that. In fact, let's turn auto pilot off entirely. Because now we're going back to where we started. See how crazy that was? Now we're gaining airspeed. 
Let's, um... I don't know. I'll play with it off camera in a little bit here. I just want to get us kind of going on our way. I just want to straighten out here until we get to the purple line. Let's trim this thing down a little bit because we're already at 2300. We're not going to go much more than like 4,000 feet, I don't think. Um, don't know why we would need to do anything more than that. There we go. Let's turn left now. We're about to join our purple line. And there we go. So, I don't know what to do about this autopilot thing. Maybe I'll just figure out the heading bug and just use the heading bug to follow the purple line. I guess. Oh, there's nothing to do now. Tell approach. Except for I figure out autopilot, which I'll do off camera. And if I figure it out, I'll jump in and tell you what I did. But all I say seen for you, some behind the scenes dirty work for me, and I'll catch you in a little bit. Okay, I think I figured out the VNAV, or the NAV thing. Um, there's this thing up here. So even though it's coupled to CDI, this GPS, which we talked about a second ago. GPS up here, you hit it again, it goes roll. And then GPS. And I think the GPS now is actually binding us up. So what I did is I hit this NAV button until this went to GPS as well. So I think that's what's going to happen. Or... I just happened to set my heading bug so perfectly, which I guess it could be either way at this point. I doubt I, I, I'm kidding. I doubt I set my heading bug perfectly, although it is lined up. So I guess what will happen is we'll find out when we make this turn. If we make the turn while we're on nav, then I did it right. If we miss the turn, then my heading bug is what's holding us in place. I guess I could try this. Okay, there. Okay, awesome. So it is nav now. So I hit nav several times until that went to GPS. CDI was already GPS. And we're on our way. Alright, back to sightseeing. Sorry for the interruption, but we're learning this together. Kind of hard to see the land, but there's land out there under that haze. So what I did is I looked up the GPS plate on my phone, which I don't know why I didn't think of doing this like nine months ago. <laughs> but I did the pretty things out. I looked up on my phone. We want to be at 2,000 feet at Zynav. So we have to come down 2,200 at about 500 feet per minute. That's four minutes. We're four minutes out, so it's time to come down 400 feet per minute. So let's see if I can figure this out. What if we go nose down? Well, let's let go of alt. Let's do nose down. Oh, I want to get... There we go. Let's try to go down 500 feet per minute or so. And it won't let us. Is it because our speed is too high? No. Um, how do we nose this down? What if I bring back throttles? Nope, we're just slowing down. Um, I don't want alt. No, no alt. Nose down, please. 
I want to nose down 400, 500, was it 500 feet per minute? Um, that's 800 feet per minute, seven. Let's see here. There's six, there's 550, let's just stay with that. So what happens if I goose the throttle? We're speeding up, of course, and it's staying at 550. Okay, so I don't know why that gave me problems. Uh, let's go down a little more to 600, 650, I guess. Okay, let's oh, bring back throttles a little bit so we don't overspeed. So let's see, what are we at? Two minutes out, and we have to come down. We're looking at uh, 1,600 feet or so. Good. All right, so when we get down to 2,000, I will nose up to level off, I guess. Or I'll just hit Alt at that point. And then we'll watch the Pappy from there. Let me see what our next waypoint says on the plate here. Enter at 2,000. Stay at 2,000 until Jug P. And we just come down from there. Yeah, so we'll stay at 2,000 until Jug P. Oh, watch that. Overspeed. And then we'll just check Pappy from there. Good. Alrighty. So I'm going to do... Whoa, it got cloudy. I'm just going to level us off at 2,000. 1,300 to go. All right, destination altimeter, two nine or nine or seven. So let's put that in. It says it's the outside one. Two nine or nine or seven, and there we go. 800 feet to go, and then we'll level off. We get the right on time. Holy moly. That just looks so cool, doesn't it? You can see through the breaks in the clouds. We're about to begin our turn just about now. There it is. What do they get to see out the window? Nothing but clouds. All right, 2400, we're about to level off in a moment here. We'll start slowing down a little bit. So approaching this thing. Um, landing lights on, fuel pump on, we'll do that in a minute as soon as we level off. And then, let's see. Oh, we have a long ways before we, okay. So we'll be leveled off for quite a bit, actually. Getting ready to hit Alt. Hopefully it'll grab us at 2000 and there we go 1996 fine good enough that's your graduate high school anyway keep that speed up keep that speed up hop over here two and a half minutes we're going to hold this up two and a half minutes we'll kill autopilot on jug b so let's review the approach which you can't see jack right now so very dangerous looks like we're at the base of the clouds though maybe i have to raise them if they go to the ground otherwise Landing lights on. Yes, let's do all this right now. Landing lights on. Let's turn the fuel pump on right now anyway. High top heat. Um, on. No, it stays on. That's it. All right. Flaps at 92. Flaps at 81. Final approach. 65. Land at 63. 92, 81, 65, 63. I will not remember that. Oh, here we go. Keep that speed up a little bit. Keep an eye on this. As soon as we get to Jug P, we will kill autopilot and come in for our landing. So I was noticing our tracking is way over here. Our heading is way over here. I pulled up the weather to see if anything had changed. And um, 260 degrees. We have the correct runway, but 52 knots? What? <laughs> what? So this is going to be very interesting. Visibility 1, overcast. So the weather changed drastically. So we got the best runway choice, 28 to 26. So we have a little bit of wind from the left, a little bit. Uh, slightly offset crosswind from the left at 52 knots. We might, um, we might have a crash and burn, everybody. I don't know, because I can't see the runway, obviously, because we're kind of fogged in. We have no localizer approach or anything so let's just let gps hold us and we will um nose this thing down turn off alt there we go let's nose down a little bit if we're supposed to i don't know what to say other than i hope we don't hit the ground ground was what 20 feet Let's slow down a little bit. We want flaps at 92, then 81. Touch the approach at 65 and land at 63. So we can start slowing down right now if you want to, I guess. Although we're two and a half minutes out. But um, since we can't see what we're doing, 
we're just going to ride this thing in. This is the most nerve-wracking minute 42 in my life. That's actually minute 42 to that waypoint. We still have more to go after that. Alright, about to reach our final leg of this approach. There we go. It's going to turn us any second now. We're at 98 knots. We'll slow down a little bit more, get first set of flaps out. They're bringing us down at 450 feet per minute, 300 feet per minute now, looks like. We are going to have to kill autopilot soon. Because, um, yeah, let's kill autopilot now. There we go. Take over. Try to fly this as straightly as we can with these crazy, insane... Oh my gosh, look at these winds. This is ridiculous. First set of flaps down. And try to stay level till we see the airport. As slow as we can go here. What was the next set of flaps? 81 something. Approach at 65, touch at 63. Look at this, we're getting blown off course because of the wind, big time. I do not see a runway yet. What is that? Okay, second set of flaps. Go as slow as we can. Buy us as much time as we can. And as soon as we see a runaway, we'll nosedive for it. Final approach is 65. We can slow down to that in a moment here. We're just getting blown all over the place. Let's zoom this in if it'll let us. Well, how did I zoom? There we go. Oh, can you see the airport diagram? Okay. Oh, do I see a beacon or anything out there? No. Not yet. We really shouldn't use the GPS in this manner, but that's what we're doing. I just want to see something. Of course, in real life, we would not do this. We would go to a nearby airport with a localizer approach. Because we can't find the runway in sight. So this is just, just for fun. Look at that. You can see the crosswind depicted on the GPS. Now, part of the reason we might not be able to see the airport is because we're so low. Let's get that speed up a little bit. But at the same time, I want to be able to touch down as soon as we do see it. So, let's see. Let's see. Oh, I think I saw the beacon flashing. Did I see the beacon? Let's see if I can zoom this in while I'm... There we go. Let's see, did I see a beacon flying as low and slow as we can? And we're almost out of fuel too, by the way. Look at that, we are in the yellow for fuel. All right, here we go. Do we see anything that looks like an airport? Yeah, we probably won't either, because it's probably not lit up, because it doesn't have the type of instrument approach we need right now. So it probably won't even be lit up. Keep it low and slow. All right, let's try to maintain this if we can. Runways to our left, probably just after this clearing. Oh my gosh, I'm turning and I feel like we're getting blown sideways. This is ridiculous. Keeping that speed as slow as we can. Look, it's like we're not even moving. What is our ground speed right now? Ground speed, where was ground speed? 13 knots. So look at, ground speed, 13 knots. Airspeed 67. That is amazing. It's almost like we're a helicopter. It should give us plenty of time to land once we see the runway. We should have just dropped right down and hover over it. There's the beacon. That was the beacon I was looking at the whole time. So let's aim for it. You know, with the ground speed this slow and the airspeed this slow, we should be able to pretty much just find the runway and land right on like a helicopter. I'm not joking about that. Although with this crosswind from the left, look at this. It's like we're going sideways. Check that out. Look at Look at this. It's like we're going sideways. Look at that crosswind. It's not even funny. See, look at the GPS. See how we got blown way over now? Alright, this is interesting. This is like the... Oh, there's the runway. This is like the Alaskan Adventure. Do you remember that? A couple years ago, where we um, basically just hovered over the center of the runway. Oh, wow. How are you supposed to land on that with these trees? This is hilarious. We are not even moving. Hardly at all. We are literally just going to put this down like a helicopter. Are we going to bother with the crosswind component and do the rudder and all that? I don't know. Look at this. We are sinking, though. 
We are sinking. Look at this. What is your... Look at this. We are sinking. What's our ground speed? 15 now. All right, here we go. We actually managed to get over that tree. Arriving at waypoint. Yes, I know. So here we go. Let's get that airspeed down. Oh, that's not even for the numbers quite yet because we're going to land like a helicopter. Here we go. This is the most hilarious thing I've ever done. All right. Ground speed is 10. Ground speed is 9. Are we over the threshold? Here we go. Put it down like a helicopter. This is the funniest thing I've ever seen. All right. Let's let's use some rudder control to straighten out a little bit. Well, no, nope, we're getting blown sideways. Oh, we were doing so well. Here we go. Here we go. Let's do this. Ground speed. 10 again. Oh my gosh, it's gusty too. And down like a helicopter we go. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, come on. Oh my gosh, it's gusty. I, it's, this is doing what it wants. Get us down. Get down. There we go. <laughs> we're down. Look, we're going backwards. We're going backwards. Watch. When I look, the brakes are on. Watch this. When I let go, we're going backwards. Look at this. That's funny. Let's get some throttles going then. Flaps can come in. And let's try to taxi this thing. Oh, wow. That was hilarious. <laughs> Have you ever seen such a silly thing? What I think is cool is we can actually pull this up and see our ground map. That is crazy, that detail. See, will this zoom in even more? It does. Look at that. Wow, that's awesome. Alrighty, well, let's go to a hangar here. And then we'll check out the replay, because that was very amusing, if I may say so myself. I have so much throttle engaged just to go, and what is their ground speed? Six knots. And I have like three-quarter throttle engaged. All right, let's see if we can even get off this taxiway without it blowing us backwards again. Here we go. Let's hope for the best. We're like tipping sideways. Yep, the wind's going to blow us over. Oh my gosh, the wind blew us over. That was funny. Oh my gosh, look at the wind is doing that. The wind just blew us over. <laughs> what can you say about that? Look at the wind is blowing us across the pavement. Look at We're getting blown across the pavement. Check this out. Funny. Well, let's check out the replay of this thing, I guess. So I guess that means we had a great runway choice, right? If we were able to do this and taxi a little bit, and then we got blown over only after we turned. I guess that means runway choice is right. So we were doing so well, and then we got blown to the side, and then we came back, and we set it down. We tried to set it down. Tried to set it down. <laughs> tried again to set it down. And this was all with throttles at idle, by the way. And there we go. Boom. Just like a helicopter. That was a riot. And there you go. See, that's we got blown backwards. Look at Check that out. Here we go again. Getting blown backwards. Alrighty, let's go back to real time and evacuate the aircraft. Well, there you have it. We're getting scraped across the pavement. I'm not even going to bother shutting that thing down and just, just get out. Everybody out. Everybody out. Aside from getting blown over by a natural disaster, hopefully you enjoyed our Virginia Lake. I apologize if you live there and you were looking forward to this flight. Maybe you found this amusing? I don't know. I certainly did. What's the sense of taking it so seriously all the time? When you can have a good time. I guess we always have a good time. But a time like this. Hopefully you don't have any more times like this, though. They're few and far between. But it does happen. We've, we've crashed the beaver a couple times, too. Because of weather and wind and waves and weird things. But anyway, hopefully you enjoyed the flight. If you're a regular subscriber, thank you for your continuing support. If you found me by accident, please like, please subscribe, please share with your friends. Let's see if we hit 500 subs by January 1st. That would be awesome, especially for this genre. 500 subs is a lot of subs. So um, I'm looking forward to that milestone. Hopefully I get to share it with you all. Hopefully you enjoyed this flight and will join me for the next flight. And I'll catch you on the next one.